What's going on, guys, and welcome to Factorio, a game you guys keep asking me to play over and over and over again. As you know, I'm a big lover of Factory games, especially Satisfactory, as that's where most of you know me from. So I thought I'll come over here and do like a mini-series to see how it goes on the channel and if you guys enjoy it. So it's going to be one hell of a ride, so without further ado, let's jump straight into this and let's start some automation. Okay, so we're in. We can just see we, we have crash landed. We have got some coal right here. Uh, and we've got some ore, we've got some stone over here, copper, and some iron. I'm playing straight vanilla, there is no mods. Um, I can see on the map right there, I think that's some enemies. I think that's some enemies. Uh, and that's all I grow on pollution. Uh, I understand that a lot of you guys will probably comment and let me know something, so please do. Um, I will obviously take all your advice under consideration, all this kind of stuff. Um, so... First thing we kind of want to do is get some coal power going, right? So I need to get used to the controls again. I've not kind of done any testing. The only thing I did was just jump straight in and uh, kind of get things going here. And I remember way back in the day, um, what we kind of want to do is aim at getting some, bur well, minor drills and put them in a circle so we can kind of like get them self-feeding each other so we can get some coal. So I need to get some... What do we need? We need some iron. Um, I don't know about the efficiency and in all this in this game. I don't know what like the smelters are producing per minute, all this kind of stuff. So all that is just going to be, we're just going to wing it and see what happens. So the first thing we need to do is just kind of get mining, right? We need to just grab some basic supplies. Okay, so I'm just going to place this down here and then I'm going to grab my coal and put it into my inventory there. Um, and just so I can easily grab it from here. Um, and then if I remember correctly, you just hold control and it'll put it straight in there. Same with that. And then if I hold control and shift click, it will spread that item around the multiple, you know, kind of things. Um, so we've got some iron plates being made and we need iron plates to make the uh, burning miner drills. We also need some stone. So I need to run down here and start doing some manual drilling to actually get this going. I could have literally put the other one down and put some coal in it, but... It's too late now. I'm here and I'm doing it. Okay, there we go. And remember, if you you know if you want to see more of these videos, please remember to like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. You know how we do it on this channel. Um, so, uh, what do we still? We still need some of that. So if I press Control Click now, it's pulled the iron plates out. Okay, I'm kind of getting familiar self with my color. Oh, we need to change the, the 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 color of what should we be? Let's be, let's be blue. Yeah. Um, maybe it's too dark. Oh, maybe we go with Pioneer Orange. Maybe we go with, like, Pioneer Orange since we, we've... I feel like... Or Pioneer from Satisfactory. How do we make orange again? That's right. Wait. Less... More red? I feel like you can... Am I just being stupid? <laughs> Forget it. We're just going to be red. We're going with red instead. I can't be bothered trying to figure out the orange. And <laughs> just ignore me. Okay. Um, so I've got this, we've got some plates now, which does mean we can kind of handcraft the burning jars. And we can see down here in the bottom left, it will make whatever we need to get to the, you know, the said item. Uh, so let's get uh, two of these. Let's put these in my inventory here. And what control is it? Like, I don't, I don't want to go in here. I, I am playing this straight blind after like three to four years. So I want you to kind of experience the learning process with me. So it's going to be one journey for us both, you know? Um, so what is it? Is it C? V? Oh, cannot D disconnect. Okay. X. Okay, X is to change my my uh, my bar at the bottom. So we're going to put this here, and then we're going to put that there. So if I just quickly grab some coal, um, what I kind of want to do here is quickly just um, put some coal in that, and once that feeds, makes coal, that will get passed onto this one, right? Yes. Okay. So we kind of want to make a little square of four. And uh, we can get, like, a little circle going here. Okay, so I can place that there, and then place that there. And then eventually, they're just going to keep passing call around to each other. And then I can literally just go, con if I just hold control, and I can just go bada-bing, bada-bosh, like that. And then, you know, I've got enough call on me. So, I am going to come, I'm going to, I'm going to play this game, like, fresh as a new player. Um, I think that's the best way to take it. I'm not, I'm going to bring in the basic knowledge that I know from, obviously, Satisfactory. They're totally two separate games. I understand that. 
Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, they both have something in common, which is trying to make things efficient. I'm going to try and do that. And there is... Uh, where's my stats boy? There is one, isn't there? Production statistics. Here we go. So this right here is genius. I love this. And as a, a person who loves efficiency, this is fantastic. So we can see right now how many items we're making per minute uh, and how many items we're producing minute, per minute, right? So we kind of want to utilize this, I feel like, to kind of get a good sense of balance with the items we're producing and all that kind of stuff. Um, there might be a few pe people that might say, you know, you don't need to look at this. I understand that. Uh, but I think for my basic knowledge, I, uh, it's going to be useful for me. Uh, and I do believe uh, the, if I can remember correctly, the power is associated with the power pole. So we need to go on when, when we do the power pole stuff. Pollution is obviously being polluted. Uh, and if we click on the map, we can see the pollution right here, which is a little cross right now, a little medical cross. Uh, and if this red dot, this red block here, it's just expanded like there, reaches these guys. These guys will actually come over and attack us. And we can see the pollution spreading pretty quickly because we have got like, you know, four machines going now and they're kind of automating. And I don't know if the wind actually affects the direction of the pollution. I would presume so, right? So let's grab some more coal. And what I want to do now is I kind of want to get uh, some or kind of like automation kind of going, semi-automation. Um, so I'm going to grab some more miners. I'm going to put them in the iron and then I'm going to put them to directly feed into some burners. The only problem is I've got to keep running up and down here. I understand there is a mod for long reach uh, and maybe a better torch. If you guys would like me to see that and that would be more beneficial to you guys, please let me know because I know the, the light right here is a, a corn chip and if you would prefer the the circle one just for your well viewing pleasure please let me know in the comments and all that kind of stuff um so let's kind of just get a stone miner down here i'm gonna put this in my hot bar as well um and i'm just gonna place these down here um just for this uh season one if we if we call it call in this season one i have kind of put rich resources on uh, and all that kind of stuff so i can kind of get used to the game again um and then we can start going into all that kind of stuff later on so we can kind of see everything we're making here we can make armor uh ammunition and all that kind of stuff um there's our research we kind of need to get or like you know this is what we kind of need for our assembly parts for example um and there's our lab where we need to get the items into everything in here can be automated uh which is a good thing about this game um so i kind of want to progress more and we want to get some more miners down uh, i've got quite a bit of coal on me i suppose and I want to get some more smelters going here. Uh, and if I believe, if I press Control C, I can grab that and put that as a blueprint. Yeah. And then if I press Q on this, if I've got the item in my inventory, it will then place it back down. Okay. So I need to try and get used to all of this. Okay. So after grabbing some stone and stuff, you can see I've now put four of the little drills down going straight into the smelters. And we should be getting a little bit of, uh, you know, iron plates per now. Uh, and I feel like I need to do this with a copper, and I'm going to do this with the stone, but obviously the stone doesn't go straight into the, um, you know, the smelter. I'm going to put it into some storage as well, and we do have some storage right here, which is, we, I think, I don't know the difference. I'm guessing it's just, you know, we can see the storage size. Um, that's going to give us 16. That's going to give us 32. I, I think 32 is a little bit too much. I, like, I, guess, I guess we can just grab some wood. Okay, so there we go. I've got the four little drills down going into the four storage. Um, and because when we go to place the drills, we need stone. And the only reason we need stone is because we need to make, you know, the stone furnaces. So if we look at the research tree, we can see it's a, it's a pretty big boy. And I know there's uh, Bob's and Angel's mods. I used to play them way back in the day. Um, so that will, you know, increase this by tenfold. Um, we're going to stick straight to vanilla straight now. And, you know, if we go on to a season two, I'll definitely install them. Um, so I think the first thing we kind of want to look at here is maybe into automation uh, or even into sort of logistics um, and maybe get the underground or splitters. Um, but I think the automation should be good for now. So let's kind of start the research on that. And for me to, you know, to make them, I need to get, you know, the copper up and running. So I'm going to do the same what I've done here with the four drills and four uh, smelters on the copper. And there we go. We have now got the copper up and running. We've got the iron up and running and we've got the stone up and running. Um, I feel like obviously we're going to, we see like we're, we're already running out of coal like already. So I feel like I'm just going to quickly get this like more, well, more coal being processed. 
And then I want to start looking into, um, you know, the boilers and the steam engines and start getting some electric mining drills going and some, uh, you know, uh, and getting it like, you know, with the conveyor belts and the inserters up and running as well. Um, so I feel like we kind of want to look at doing that next. So I'm going to just make a couple more uh, miners here um, just so we can get some more coal being spread about. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly remove that one. And then I'm going to place one there. Quickly replace that one as well. And then we have that to aim there. You to aim there. Bada bing, bada bosh. Just like that. And then that will just kind of spread the love around to them other coal gens. Um, but the closest water source we got is this one down here. Um, someone will have to let me know in, in the comments if the water does eventually... Uh, drain out. I don't know. Uh, I know the coal nodes do, of course, unless you put unlimited on. Um, and I do have, uh, you know, the ores are will eventually, you know, because I've not got unlimited on. So, um, can I grab that fish? I can grab a fish. Um, okay, so let's have a look at a uh, boiler. Uh, consumption is 60 per second of water. Uh, and it max uh, consumption is 1.8 megawatts. So I feel like output 60, consumption is 30, max temperature 900 kilowatts, 1.8 megawatts. So that'd be one boiler to two steam engines. Uh, right? So let's kind of put that down. And then I need, what is it, an offshore pump? Yes. Uh, I need one of them. And I'm going to need some piping. So we'll grab a pipe to ground. Actually, I don't think we need... I think we can just go straight into you. Let's get a couple of you. I know I can right-click here um, to kind of get things done. So let's put down a little line here. So let's grab you. And then we're going to grab our engine. And we're going to put that to there. And then... We can link these together, right? Can we? I think. Right? Can I put that there? I think that's connected. Okay, anyway. Uh, science, I guess. We'll just try it. Uh, let's put our offshore pump down. Connect that to there. And then bring over some pipes. And um, we'll just drag that into there. And this is going to obviously need some coal. Uh, we obviously can't jump, so we've got to go around here. Um, so let's just quickly put some coal in here. Uh, and that is now... Is that going to provide us with power? Let's just get a couple of power poles. Um, and let's see if we're making 1.8... Mm, is it watts or megawatts? I will have to find out in a second. Uh, and let me bring these down onto my hot boy down here. Uh, okay, so let's just kind of grab you and place you down. Um, and then let's click on this. So are we producing anything? Oh, we are. So we are. We have got 1.8 megawatts connected. Uh, and now we just need to bring this over here and get some electric drills down. Um, but I think what the first thing I want to do is, is maybe automate this coal system. Right, so this, this, this boiler here. So I'm going to... I think the first plan of action will be to get a, an electronic miner. So I need to get some copper sheets. And then I'm going to make a... Let's just make one drill for now. And then once I've got one drill, I need to make some conveyor belts. So let's get a couple of them being done. I, I will eventually get these being automated. Um, and I, I think I'm going to put down a burner inserter. Because a burner inserter needs coal. But if it picks up coal, I think it actually inserts it into himself. And then also into the boiler as well. I know it's not like important. I can easily just connect a belt up here. But the the reason I want to do that is just kind of just save a little bit of power, uh, I guess. Um, so let's kind of now um, get our, our drill here. And let's just kind of stick it to the edge. I feel like, the, you know, the green area is where it's going to grab eventually um, from the source. So let's kind of put you down there. And let's bring our conveyor belts onto our, 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 our line here, onto our hot boy. And let's just bring this down. I love the whole placing of the belts in this. It's so satisfying, especially like clicking. Um, so let's kind of just bring, bring these. Am I going to have enough? I should have enough. Yeah, we got way more than enough. Put that onto there. Um, so let's now bring over the power line. 
Um, let's kind of connect this up here. I'm going to be trying to keep, you know, I know it's not all about decoration in this, but I'm, I am going to try and keep some, like, some form of, you know, not spaghetti. Uh, we're going to try and avoid that and make it sure it looks, looks decent. Um, okay, so now I've got that down. We can see that these are still powering. They are moving now because they. I'm guessing these are the making the sounds and the steam's coming off because something is consuming uh, power. Um, but let's quickly put down a burner. Did I get one? I did. Uh, I'm just going to aim that to there like that. And then the coal's coming down, we can see. I don't know what this is per minute. Um, so let's kind of... Wait, it, what would be the easiest thing to to test that out for me? It would be literally just to grab, to shut all these off, right? And then just see what I'm producing per minute on this graph. Or is it this graph? Yeah. So, per minute. We're doing 133 per minute. Or if I highlight it, it says um, mining speed 0 0.5 per second. So, if I'm doing 0 0.5 per second, does that mean I'm making 120 per minute? No. No, Bitsy. 30 sec 30 per minute. Right? <laughs> okay. So, I believe that's making 30 per minute. And this belt holds 15 items per second. Okay. I feel like I should kind of just ignore that for now and just kind of aim for stuff. Um, I also believe that this... If I was to take the coal out of here... Yeah, he's going to fill this up. But he's, he's only going to fill it to five, I believe. So three, four, five. He's going to con consume one. And then he's going to put one more in there, right? And he won't put any more in there now. Yeah, okay. So we could kind of leave that going. And I think what I want to do now is I might want to extend this line, put some more electric miners down, and then get a splitter and split it off this way and kind of divert it up here um, sort of thing. Um, so we can start getting some electric miners down up here. Uh, and I'm, I might bring... Um, I might bring my factory kind of down here. I don't know... Yeah, we've got plenty of space down here, right? I think that's what we might do. Um, but I feel like, you know, my, with my factory being so far away up here, if we do get attacked, we might have a bit of a problem. Oh, God, everything's out of coal. Grab all of that. And then I can just go like that. And then control shift click on this. And to spread the love. Okay, I think I might need to do the uh, stone ones down here as well. So just like with every factory game, like the early game is the slow start, right? Obviously, if you played this for many years, you probably optimize your start or your beginning. Um, but I feel like we've got a little bit of progression going on here. We're not doing too bad at the minute. Um, but like I said, I do kind of want to maybe start aiming towards... Um, let's get him... Let's get four... Four miners down of you, right? Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, and that's going to be them down. Then also let's start getting um, some inserters. And we're going to want some... Well, we've got the smelters already, so... Um, yeah, let's just kind of just grab as much items as we can here. Uh, I don't want to fill my items up if I don't need to. The iron plates we kind of do. So let's make uh, 20 inserters. Let's get some more power poles as well. And some more belts, of course. And now I've just got to wait for more plates to be made. Because I do want to kind of get storage. I kind of do want, I want to do item buffers. A lot of people will probably tell me you don't need to go from, you know, electric drill to belt to smelter to smelter to storage to then storage to belt. But I kind of want to do that just for my sake right now, just because I want to grab any items I want, you know, for personal use in storage in case I need to handcraft stuff. Um, so let's kind of just grab, uh, let's grab 10 of them. You know, we, do, we can just grab some more iron plates here. Uh, let's go and grab some limestone as well. Actually, no, I've got plenty. We don't need that How's my pollution level right now? Um, I'm worried about these. Maybe we're going to give these a visit. Maybe. Maybe I'll make some more ammo, in fact. Let's make some more ammo. Oh. No, let's get some armor. And then let's go and uh, give them guys a little visit. Make some light armor. Oh, that's going to take some time. Because it's going to go through all these belts. <laughs> See, this is why you need to automate everything. So we can get automate like the belts. We can automate the ammunition. The ammunition will then get put into the turrets. 
We do have a radar here, which scans the nearby sectors and actively reveals an area around it. So, you know, as we can tell on the map right now, the fog of war is, uh, you know, is the... If I was to walk over here, it will remove it. But I would like to start revealing these sectors so I know where to kind of... Where my next wave of enemies could come from if the pollution reaches them. And obviously, the more factory stuff we put down, the more pollution we make. So we kind of want to control it a little bit and expect some attacks to come in the near future. But now that we've got a little bit of ammo and we've got some light armor, let's go and pay the guys a visit. There they are. They're not really that far away. Oh, there's quite a few of them. Uh-oh. Okay, let's just try it. We might die here. I might not have enough ammo. Where's my fish? Yeah, I, I might die here. I might die here. I might die here. Yep, I I died. I died. Um. Okay, they're gonna go back there. They're not going to my. Okay, three seconds to respawn. Okay, they are going back to their camp now. Maybe the best thing I should have done was put my fish in my inventory or my hot boy. Right. That would have been the best thing to do. Oh, there we go. I put everything over. Um. Maybe that would have been the best thing to do. Would have been put my fish in here. Um, yeah, let's grab some more fish and let's quickly make some more ammo. Did I make more ammo? No, I've got 23. Wait, how did I get 23? I don't remember making that much. There we go. We got this. Don't mind me. Just shooting at them with my Glock. And then also eating a raw fish like Gollum. Oh god, these spawn quick, don't they? Maybe we need to uh, get some better firepower here. But to be honest, maybe because we're moving too far away from their base to spawning quicker. Yeah, look, look, they're, they're spawning way too quick. And I'm about to run out of ammo. Okay, yeah, we're going to leave these. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm about to run out of ammo. Come on, finish these off. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's go on and get some more firepower. Jesus. But what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to leave that for the next episode. So make sure to check out my other YouTube content here. I kind of wanted to make this an introduction video into what we could possibly make a series. So remember to like, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And I'll try and get one out as soon as I can, maybe in the next couple of days. So without further ado, keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.